Hey guys, I'm here to tell you about the Ouija board. See, I'm a big fan of horror and all that crap. And uh, I love ghosts. But see, I've been haunted by ghosts. That's what got me into it. Now there's a little story that goes with this. I hope you're able to hear. One day my parents went out and I was with my friends. As I was with my friends, we heard knocking on the doors and stuff like that. So we thought it was my parents. But we'd dead be wrong. We opened the door to just see that there were no one there. We started getting the gist that my house was haunted. Then, we cut the lights. We turned all the lights off and grabbed a few knives. So, what happened then? Well, we went into my art room, shut the door, and locked it, you know, blah, blah, blah. And we heard voices. So, we decided to get out of my art room. And when we did, the door was creaking open. See, I have like this glass door, you know, and it can't lock. So as it was sliding open, my friend got down to the ground and started crying, saying, I don't want to die, I don't want to die. But we didn't die. See, I ran over there and shut the door. It was probably just the wind, you know, but wind's not that strong. Then uh, it started raining. When it started raining, uh, we started watching television. As we were watching television, the TV went out along with all the lights. I grabbed the flashlight and when I looked over into the hallway, I saw a pretty suspicious character. It was a young little girl with no eyes, a blue bow, and I think I couldn't really see the color of the dress. But I think it was also blue, and it was um, glad. But she was an old, raggedy little girl, and it looked like that she got ran over, and she was cut in the face and stuff. Well, oh crap. I ran back in, into the family room, and I noticed my friends weren't there. Uh-oh. When I saw that, I ran into the art room, they weren't there. I ran into the bathroom, they weren't there. I ran into my room, they weren't there. Till I heard screams from the basement, pretty sure they saw the demon girl too. We asked her her name, but the only reply that she gave us was, Nanya! See, we were confused, and usually demons would like to communicate. So we made a Ouija board. Oh, Great! When we did this, there was a slight of hauntings. The TV turned on and it had this weird video on it. Ugh. But we turned the TV back off and we asked her her name. <clears throat> this is where it went creepy. She said her name was Madeline. Nickname, Zozo. If you've ever heard of Zozo, she is the worst ghost or demon that you could ever get on the Ouija board. But did you know her real name was Madeline? I didn't know that her name was Madeline, and when I heard her, I started thinking, why did she open up to us? Strange thing. Apparently, you guys might be like, no, 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 this is, that's fake and stuff. Well, I don't care. Look at my family history. Um, apparently, I was related to Zozo and somehow, and she wasn't there to hurt me. <laughs> she was here to kill my friends. So what I did then was I asked her what could we do to, so then she wouldn't kill my friends, and she said... You pour some milk on my grave. What? I asked her where was her grave, and she said, Well, outside your door. We ran upstairs and opened the door to see a huge rock with the graving Madeline. So we poured milk onto it, and when my parents finally came home, it disappeared, and there was just splatters of milk. And that's not even the last part. We continued playing the Ouija board, and when we did, we got in contact with Zozo. Zozo. When we did, we heard banging on the windows this time. We looked outside, and we saw the strangest thing. Two young men running up this hill that we have. 
and they were running into the forest, and they had a little dog with them. I looked all around, and I didn't see my dog Toby. That got me worried. They had Toby in their clutches, and I didn't know what they were going to do with him. So of course, like a caring mom, I'm not a mom at all, don't think that, I'm not that old. Um, I decided to follow them up the hill with my friends, and when that happened, well, we found Toby, yeah, and we also found the two freaky men, ew, so, I kind of forgot everything from right there, I don't exactly know what happened, but, see you guys later, hope you don't see anything spooky on your way out.